did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex miller named Enodius Papias, and Bay Tilde, a mind boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. She separated from her husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. Baytild's angry and desperate, a fighter. He lived just outside Anga's mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. And he's right. He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy, even for you. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed. Something? Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Your payment for a job well done. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder, I could do this all day. Here's your payment. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. Need something? Well then, your timing couldn't be better. 
As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. Happy hunting! Well now, what have we here? A lost little lamb. Well now, what have we here? A lost little lamb. This time, you faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. Else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. There are, indeed, three to be exact. There's Dekas, a shipwreck scavenger, Mirandrew Joe, a traveling caravanner, and Honoriath, a hunter. He's an accomplished wizard and locating him may be challenging as he travels with the caravans. The Wood Elf may run a stall in the city, but he retreats to the plains outside Whiterun to hunt. Kill him there, and no one will bear witness. He's an Argonian layabout, likes to scaven shipwrecks. My guess is he'll run if threatened, or swim, if given the chance. Go on now.
salute you. Ah, well done, well done. Those caravanners can be an elusive bunch. It takes a fair bit of stalking to take one down. But then, that's half the fun, isn't it? Here's your payment. Well earned indeed. Ah, so the hunter came to know the fear of the hunted. Your payment, my friend. Well done. Personally, I've always found Argonians to be incredibly unpredictable opponents, especially near water. In any event, nice work. Here's your payment. Just one right now, actually. I need you to eliminate an old woman named Agnes, a servant in Fort Greymoor. to admit, I find the Night Mother's presence comforting. Don't worry, my friend. I'll spare you the facetious quip about killing a defenseless old woman. Infiltrating an occupied military fort and making it out in one piece is nothing to joke about. Well done. Your payment for services rendered. Well, yes, two of them, but you're reaching the end of what I have available. Your targets are a dark elf wizard named Malaril in the dwarven ruin of Mazinchaleft, and Helvard, the house call of Falcon. Kill these two, and I'll have one last contract to give you. I'm just finalizing some details now. He's the house call of Falkreath. You know what that means? He's the bodyguard to the Jarl himself, so be careful. He's dangerous, very dangerous. A rogue dark elf mage doing research into dwarven artifacts should be both respected and feared. Just not by you. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best to get to it.
Why am I not surprised to learn Cicero is alive? Still can't stomach the little clown. But if you welcomed him here, I won't question it. Hmm. Well, that's sure to throw a branch of the Falk Reef's well-oiled political machine. Here's your payment. Well earned, as always. I hope the elf didn't give you too much trouble. I once got set on fire by a sorcerer. Nasty business, that. But I digress. Here's your payment. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I believe you are. Very well, then. You need to find and kill Safia, the captain of the pirate ship, Red Wave. The ship travels the northern coast and sometimes isn't even in Skyrim at all. So you'll have to be patient. Respect as well. And believe me, friend, that does not come easily. I'm afraid that concludes our business. You have exhausted all available additional contracts. But I'm sure you've got plenty to keep you busy right about now, hmm? You've got people to kill, my friend. Best to get to it. 